What I enjoy about my job is working with people. I love interacting with people. I love teaching people. Um, I love being on the road, attending conferences, talking at conferences. I mean, it's a big plus. We go to different conferences. Um, I've had the opportunity to go to a conference in the United States. My name is Lewakang Mashishi. I am a Geospatial Technical Advisor. When we talk about GIS, Geographical Information System, we're talking about a science as well as a technology that basically helps us understand the Earth as a system. It helps us also map out and visualize certain components of the, of the Earth and basically how do all the components of the Earth interact together in one. So typically you'd want to, let's say for example, work in the health sector. So you'd work with GIS in, like I mentioned earlier, mapping out um, the outbreak of a certain virus. Or you'd, you might want to work in disaster management. And let's say for example, map out the different disasters that are happening, cyclones and tornadoes and so on. So you can do GIS and actually do a specialty in a certain category. So when I get to the office, I obviously look at my calendar and see what are the clients that I need to go visit. As a geospatial technical advisor, I need to go out to clients and interact with them, basically ask them questions about what exactly they're trying to map out or visualize, come back to the office, sort of help them with that. Sometimes I might be required to, when I'm done proposing that solution, to actually train the client. So the type of personality that one would need for this um, type of career is, firstly, I think you'd need to be very analytical. If you think about it, you're helping clients, you're helping um, the society, helping the community explore different spatial data or location-based data. So you need to be able to analyze and scrutinize every single part of that actual data set. Typically with high school you need to have done mathematics and sciences um, as well as geography. It would help if you would find some that's more find a step that's more technology based like IT or CAT. The most important thing is to make sure that within your tertiary education you must have done GIS as a module all the way up to third year. So technology does play a big role within our job. With technology constantly evolving, we need to be at the forefront of, of technology in order for us to be able to advise our clients further. So that also means being innovative in the types of things that we advise our clients. So like I said, um, you want to be able to advise your clients on a solution that's going to be present now as well as in the next 20 years. My advice would be if you study GIS as a subject or you study GIS as a degree, remember that you still can get into different industries where you can apply that GIS. So understand the type of personality you are, understand what type of special, specialty you'd like to sort of um, do and understand exactly what you do like and start from there and then the rest will be easy.